I got another video here. I, um, I sold my uh, BMW 540i. I wanted something. I wanted to get a convertible um, for the summer um, and a two back to a two door and something sporty. Uh, so uh, I've never owned a saw before. I've had so many BMWs um, and other sorted cars, so I figured. Um, I hope uh, I don't have too many issues with this car. But anyhow, um, it's a 2004 uh, Saab. That's what they call a 9.3. It's the uh, they made two versions of the uh, convertible. Uh, it's the the Arc or the ARC and the Arrow. This is the uh, this is ARC model. I think the Arrow has a little bit. Uh, it's about it has the same engine and everything, but uh, I think it's a few other features as far as the um, the body goes. Um, I do have, you notice here, I, I do have, I ordered this uh, lower bumper trim uh, that was missing on the car. But it seems to be in uh, pretty good condition. I had to, I had to get some tires and um, doing the brakes. The brakes are overdue to be done and all the fluids. It was shifting poorly because uh, I, th I don't think the transmission fluid was ever changed. It's got about 130 something thousand miles. Um, so I flushed the fluid a couple times and it's shifting much better. Seems to be a common problem with these cars. The automatics is sometimes the, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, it shifts uh, poorly. Um, but after I change the fluid, it seems to be pretty, be doing really well. Um, other things, uh, I got to get another one of these tail light trunk lenses. Uh, uh, I just did. I just did some clear tape on there. And I had to, if it got a little water in there, so I drilled some holes to drain. Um, the top, the top's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's, it's not in new condition. Uh, there's one little hole I had to seal. I'm gonna buy this, uh, I think it's called uh, Reno, Renovo, something like that. Uh, you know, renews the top. It's like a treatment with a cleaner, uh, a dye, uh, and a sealer. And uh, I've seen before and after. Um, pictures of other cars and and almost makes your top look like new uh, and uh, it's got the 16 16 inch rims I think there was an option or 15 or 16s um, and and also my rear brakes are vented there's also option there would have in the solid or vented rears um, the interior is pretty good shape I, it was really dirty whoever had it before just you know didn't take care of it he had too many cars so, um, and this, these are common to fade out. They're, they're typically um, like this kind of wood color. Uh, for now, I just painted it. I'll probably order another thing. Uh, this cup holder thing's broken. I just did like a cup holder here. I don't you know, it's got a little kind of wind today, uh, windy today, so I don't know if you're gonna hear all this. I gotta get another brake lever. Um, it's got a decent stereo, it's got a CD changer. Um, AC works. Uh, it's got the old style XM on here. There's no service, but it's connected. And, uh, gee, a lot of wind. I don't know if I block the wind or not. It's got a, um, it had to get a new battery too. Uh, it has a uh, two liter turbo. And it, uh, I think the specs on it um, is 210 on the horsepower. Uh, I think the, the torque is 220, something like that. Um, the only thing left I got to do on is spark plug. So I did the air filter, oil, oil filter, and, uh, and of course the transmission fluid. And uh, whatever happened up front here, it ended up ripping the, uh, the wire harness for the fog lights. So. I gotta rewire the fogs. So, and what's interesting is the first car I've had where the key, you don't have any kind of key up here. It's in the center console. And it just uh, remotes like this. Um, if you press this center saw button um, and twist this, this, uh, or pull on this pretty hard, this thing comes out and there's a key inside so if you know in case you the battery goes dead you can still get inside the car
and it has you know all the typical stuff you know it's got warning lights if something goes bad um, and then it's uh, We've got a decent, decent sound system. You can, uh, it's got the radio disc, and then if you go to the disc, it, it goes through uh, uh, auxiliary input, which is the this XM here. Um, then uh, the AC works well, it's got a CD changer. Um, the only thing I'm worried about if I want to upgrade to stereo. Um, it's going to be interesting um, replacing this panel. I'll probably have to get a special pl uh, whatever uh, plate for that. But I don't know. I go through cars so much, you know, I might, might not keep it that long. Maybe just through the summer. So uh, everything seems to be working well. I did. I have the typical issue with the top. It's a powered top, and I have a minor leak on the front locking cylinder. So um, you can still do it manually. Um, so until I get that fixed, that's probably what I'll do. Otherwise, uh, it'll, what, it, what happens is if it starts to leak, uh, it's usually the passenger ends up getting it. It'll, it'll start, sometimes it'll drip right here. Other times it'll, it'll make its way, I'm sorry, uh, either it'll drip through, there's a little hole thing on the top part, um, uh, for access to a manual release. And if, if the cylinder starts, uh, um, leaking, it some, usually comes down here and drips all over the passenger. <laughs> I've heard some bad stories uh, with uh, guy's girlfriend uh, she's wearing all white and got hit with a bunch of green fluid. <laughs> um, but anyhow, it's uh, it's got heated seats. Uh, the, the 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 seats are powered. Um, you know, it's got alarm, remote, and all that. It's got typical powered stuff. And what's neat here is this is powered. So you, if you want to move the seat, you just uh, pull this lever. And it moves forward, and then if you want it to go back, you just lift it up and it goes back. Then, of course, it's got the memory settings. So, um, it is, it's been a while since I had a front wheel drive car. I'm used to rear wheel drive. Um, this one, I'm surprised. Uh, usually, with ones that have pretty high horsepower, you have. Um, 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 shoot, I forget the terminology for it, but uh, you know when you when you accelerate, it'll it'll uh, it'll track um, because of the excessive torque in the front end. So you usually have to replace mounts or what they call uh, like torque steer, I guess. Um, but I, I don't seem to have the issue with this one. Um, I am going to place uh, probably the wheel bearings on it because I'm hearing kind of a hum noise. Uh, but you know. As things progress, uh, I think I'll keep it pretty much stock unless I decide to throw some H&R Sport Springs that make it a little bit stiffer on the ride and lower it a little. Uh, and uh, this thing does, uh, I haven't had it up to the speed, but uh, it, the speedometer goes up pretty high to 160. Uh, and, you know, I've had, I've had opened it up pretty well to the triple digits, so. Um, and uh, there's all kinds of tweaks you can do with these cars uh, make more horsepower but of course that shortens the life of the engine well i'm going to shut down for now i got um i got other projects i've been working on i got this uh, it's a 94968 uh i had re had to redo the brakes had at least the fronts took the fronts off and returned them Turn the rotors, new pads. He does have, <laughs> unfortunately, he bought it uh, with these scissor doors. Um, you know, should have just left it stock. But anyhow, I'm going to show you stock. It's a three liter four cylinder, about 236 horsepower. But he uh, he had it sent down to Southern Cal. Um, there's specialists down there, and had they had. Uh, um, install the supercharger so it's uh, it's um, I don't know what the what it is now he hasn't had it but uh, believe me the thing uh, is quick um, and so I mean, a lot of some reinforcements have done, been done and then they did some um, all the seals and stuff on the engine 
and make it tight so it's not leaking. And uh, um, there's just a few other things that need done to the car. He had a uh, alarm set up with a remote. Uh, so you can lock the uh, release the lock on the hood on the trunk and uh, and of course lock up the car. <laughs> it's in it's in really good shape. I can see that with the sun glare, but the interior is like really really good, considering how old this car is. Whoever had it before really took care of it. And uh, it's a six speed manual. And he uh, he had he got some gauges, um, you know, for the boost and. Uh, it's got a clock, and uh, I got a I got to wire up a or uh, I got to connect the adapter for the uh, oil filter, um, so you can see the oil temperature. Um, uh, so it's like an adapter with a sender, and then you mean then the uh, oil filter goes over it, um, and that's about it. And then I, I installed. He wanted like a, a blue LED for this, so I took that apart and installed that. But now he's, uh, he doesn't, he says there's some dust inside the lens. He wants me to take it apart again. Um, it all depends. I got projects to do. Um, currently, so I had to get this thing out of the garage. I do have working on, you can see all the junk in here. This uh, is a 2002 Nissan. And uh, it's for uh, um, these, uh, this couple's uh, kid, their teenager kid. He, uh, I guess typical with these cars, the dang head gasket goes. So I'm in the process of tearing it down um, to get the head off and send it to the machine shop. Uh, I just got the, uh, I got to take off the um, thermostat housing and then uh, the intake manifold and a few other things, uh, timing uh, cover and then line up the timing marks. Uh, I think I have to. I think I have to take the cams off before I send. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I ever used a machine shop. I don't do a whole lot of head gaskets. Um, but there you have it. I just, just thought I'd get a uh, another video up. It's been a little while. Uh, I think the last one was just the exhaust. Um, uh, showing the exhaust, how loud my exhaust was on the 540i. Well, um, well, thanks for watching.